This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go. One of the things I hate about Facebook is it doesn't really seem to give you the chance to go on the record. By that I mean the historical record. When you post something to Facebook, it's not quite public and uh, it's hard to find the URL for whatever you posted. It's hard to find the post. So you cannot go back and say, hey, look, I was against the Iraq war invasion in 2003. See, here it says such and such. Well, you can't do that kind of thing on Facebook. Not that I would be able to do it because I didn't do jack to try and stop the war, but there's something else I'm not doing jack about these days, and I feel like I should. Well, I guess I'm doing, I've been doing things on Facebook, but I, I, I see so many posts on Facebook uh, griping about Muslims, many times posts by people who've barely ever met a Muslim, and on Facebook I do fight it out sometimes. I raise concerns about the anti-Muslim hysteria that seems to have run its course for 15 years in the United States and hasn't stopped running. So I feel I should say some things uh, here on YouTube where hopefully they won't be lost. I guess one could say them on a web forum, uh, but no one would see them. One could say them on Facebook, no one would be able to find them. In some ways we're regressing. Uh, and one of those ways in which we're regressing is not just the way the internet runs, but an actual, articulated, admitted uh, reintroduction of the Crusades. <laughs> there are now actual American uh, uh, militiamen calling themselves Crusaders going to the Middle East to kill, they say, ISIS, but ultimately you gotta wonder if they'll be doing that or just bombing neighborhoods. Maybe I've gotten so jaded by seeing the way the, the, you know, the way the government fights Muslims that uh, that I'm being unfair to the Crusaders who might be less bad. But in any case, I think all you Muslim-hating tools and you Muslim-hating decent people, for that matter, who've been manipulated, uh, you ought to ask yourself some questions. First, what is the number of Muslim bystanders killed by uh, Christians compared to the number of Christian bystanders killed by Muslims? over the last 20 years. Before you think you're the good guy, that you should at least be able to show me that you're killing fewer people than the other guy. Uh, the second question, how many uh, Muslim countries have armies in uh, you know, other countries, especially Christian-dominated countries, uh, that are fighting wars there? How many Muslims are there in the United States? And of those millions of Muslims, how many have ever committed an act of religiously motivated violence against an American? And again, probably a good idea to compare that number to the number of uh, Muslims that Americans have killed over the last 20 years. Bystanders in most cases. Uh, also, uh, what's your evidence that the Muslim texts... Uh, you know, I guess the Quran would be the only one that counts. Uh, what's your evidence that it is uglier than the Bible or uglier than other ancient and medieval religious texts? I mean, the Bible, the Old Testament says you should cut a woman's hand off if she uh, successfully defends her husband in combat. Uh, is there something in the Quran that tops that in terms of being questionable? By the way, you have to admit those Israelis must have been some incredible fighters if they had women that could <laughs> that could be successful in combat back in those days. But anyway, I'll always be sensitive to this, uh, you know, to anti-Muslim hysteria. There are certainly bad things probably in the Quran and individual Muslims who do bad things. But never forget what happened just 24 years ago in, in Bosnia where, uh, you know, a, a pretty peaceful Muslim community was practically wiped out, out of large sections of the country. In many cases, they haven't been able to return, or at least they haven't wanted to because they haven't felt safe. 200,000 deaths, mostly Bosnian Muslims. And they didn't do jack to deserve it. They were just hated because they were Muslim. Well, I should say, in most cases, they didn't do jack to deserve it. It's just frustrating to see the same thing happening and continuing to happen in, in, in the U.S. It's gone on much longer, even if it hasn't been as intense as Bosnia. And I guess at this point, you know, the governments of the United States have still not really bitten the, the, uh, the religious bait, you know, both, both uh, 
Bush and Obama have been cautious about becoming out and out anti-Islamic rhetoricists. They kill a lot of Muslims overseas, but haven't targeted a lot of Muslims inside the United States. Some, but not huge numbers. It's again, it's similar to the situation in former Yugoslavia, where the Serbian government was, you know, people could be Muslim in Serbia. It was not that big a deal, but uh, they would kill you if you were Muslim in your own home in Bosnia. So sad to see Americans becoming like the Serbia of uh, of the 1990s, a Serbia with nuclear weapons and drones. This Ridley O sponsored by Convention Yard Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. Convention Yard Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go.